Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low, went from just talking to taking you. channel today I thought it would be fun to do a clean and decorate with me here on my channel I usually do a lot of home tour videos but I thought this would be a fun twist so let me know down below if this is something that you enjoy watching that way I can film a little bit more of these so without further ado let's go ahead and start off by cleaning up and wiping down my entryway table I'm just using the Mrs. Myers clean day multi-surface cleaner in the scent mint Basically, this is the third and last time that I will be decorating my home for spring this year. So with that being said, I did decide to stay with a neutral palette and just really focus on all of that before I bring out all of the fun and pops of colors for summer. So I did just a lot of greenery white florals and then I also added some terracotta pots, kind of going with a gardening theme. With all the stores still currently closed, I used a lot of the things they already had in the past. So the wooden stool and the little tree that is placed on top of it are from Michael's last year. The seltzer bottle is from TJ Maxx a few years ago, but it is from Magnolia Home. The books are just from Dollar Tree, and then the little wooden vase and the blue one are from Hobby Lobby. The wreath is from Kirkland's. Placing this wooden basket from Ikea on the bottom of the second shelf and this is what the table looks like. I really love how everything turned out. I think it's simple but definitely welcoming when it's the first thing that you see when you walk into my house. I recently went to Daiso because I was in the area and I remembered that they had some cute organization supplies. So with me being home all the time, I've just been kind of doing a lot of reorganizing but when I was in there I found these little like wall hanging baskets or like a bag this one specifically has a number two on it but they also had a one and a three which I also purchased this rug is from Target and it was underneath six dollars the pillow I already had and then the hello one is from the Target dollar spot a few months ago Starting off by wiping down my mantle area, I don't do the best job of keeping up with this and dusting and cleaning once I have decor up on here. So every time that I get ready to redecorate it for the season, I make sure I wipe it down completely and just polish it. Cause this might be love, it's a feeling that I can't get rid of, so just take my with us having our TV up in our mantle area, it does make it tricky at times to kind of figure out what works and what doesn't. I like for both of the sides to be balanced out and kind of match in the same height as well. So I added some white candlesticks on the left side from Amazon and then on the other, I added this base from Kirkland's and then some greenery inside of it. Usually I will add a sign in the middle to cover up those cables that you guys see in the middle portion But the sign that I had wasn't tall enough So I added this wooden doble from Hobby Lobby with some greenery and then place it on top of that I 
Ideally, I always try and find a sign that is tall enough to cover the cables on its own being placed on the mantle. But since everything is so close, like I said, I'm just working with what I have. And I think this works and it just adds a little bit of wood tones into the living room. So the wooden beads that I'm placing on here are from Burlington. And then I'm also going to be adding some terracotta pots on each side to kind of just balance things out a little bit more. As we drive down the avenue this might be love. It's a feeling that I can't get rid of So just take my hand I wanna be with you until the end Stay with me, take a chance, baby, roll the dice Gotta give me some love, cause when I'm with you I'm in paradise You know how to make me feel alive Gotta give me some love, nah, nah Gotta give me some love, nah, nah, nah on the bottom, I'm just adding a basket with a throw, and here is a look of how it all came together. Next, I'm just going to be decorating this little table that I have off to the side of my couches. So the table is from Hobby Lobby. I am adding this lamp that I also purchased there a few months ago. I have my Alexa on here and then I just added another vase with some florals and a picture of me and my husband along with a Let's Stay Home sign from Target Dollar Spot a few months ago. What you say, but all I hear is noise I don't have time for Trying my luck, I've been too hurt before You're not that special, just give it up I think I've had enough I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end I'm just going through and straining up all the pillows And folding the throws here on my couch all of these are actually pillow covers from Amazon, which I will go ahead and leave linked down below along with other products that I have in my house. So make sure you check out the description box below. For the decor on my ottoman tray, I'm keeping it very simple. I'm just going to be adding this cozy white cottage book that I got off of Amazon. It's been really inspirational and it definitely has given me so many ideas on how to decorate. So I really love having it right here on the coffee table. I'm also going to be adding some beads that I got at Hobby Lobby and then just some white tulips that I placed inside of this little vase. Cause you haven't got the news Well you really need to understand That I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend No, I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend All I wanna is tell with my girlfriend's girlfriend So I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend No, 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 no Girlfriend, girlfriend We are now in my kitchen and I'm just quickly wiping down this countertop area before I start setting up some decor on here. So the tools clock always stays on this side of my stove along with wooden utensils that I use all the time. And then I kind of like to pair it up with some cutting boards. The wood one is an old one from Target Dollar Spot. And then this white one is one that I recently picked up. Yeah. And I never wanna be your I 
always get so many questions asking what I keep inside of my Ray Dan sellers. So this is what I keep inside of them. They're honestly just salt and pepper shakers from Walmart. They're super inexpensive and they're just very simple. And of course I fill them up with salt and pepper and then I kind of just place them inside of the coordinating cellar. They fit so perfectly inside and I love having them on there. This sign is from World of Market and I usually always go ahead and set it on top of my stove area. And then to kind of brighten up the stove racks, I always add like a white dish or something, a pot. So I love this one that I got at Ross and then my bread box is from Amazon. For decorating my tear tray, I had no idea with what theme I was going for or even what I was going to set on here. So I kind of just pulled everything out that I thought would match on here and things in the same color scheme. Everything is mostly from Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, or the Target dollar spot. So after a few tries, I finally get it how I want it and just a way that I am happy with. To finish off the video, I'm going to be adding a cute centerpiece in the middle of my bar area. So I'm going to start off by placing this round cutting board on the bottom to kind of group everything that I'm going to set on here. The glass jar is from Walmart and I purchased these fake chocolate chip cookies on Etsy. I will leave her shop linked down below. That way you guys can check her out. I really love these cookies and I'm really impressed by the quality and they were very inexpensive for how many you get in the set. They look very realistic and I am happy with my purchase but anyways I am just stacking them up into the glass container and I'm going to be adding my Ray Dunn chocolate chips canister next to it with some greenery. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did. And also make sure you turn on your notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload my next video, which will probably be a home tour video. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll catch you all on my next video. Bye.